This is a serious issue that is plaguing communities across the country and across Los Angeles. Here in Hacienda Heights, we're told this is the starting point where thieves are stealing copper wire for miles, leaving neighborhood after neighborhood without phone service. You can see there's a sign from the phone company across the street offering a $5,000 reward for information about the suspects. It's been since April. The middle of April, we haven't had any service. About seven months, actually. For more than half a year now, Mike Wiener's landline phone has been dead. And in the hills of Hacienda Heights, cell service is not a strong backup. Can't even communicate with our kids. You know, they can't communicate with us. The problem is, the phone company says, thieves keep stealing copper wires like these from the phone lines. Wiener and dozens of frustrated Hacienda Heights and Whittier residents packed a meeting Monday where a Frontier Communications VP described it as a game of whack-a-mole. We get it put up, we turn our backs, next day it's gone again. Except it's very much not a game for locals. Not having a landline isn't only a matter of convenience, but safety. To make matters worse when the thieves knock down utility poles to get the copper they often knock out wi-fi too further isolating homeowners if there's a fire a flood a hurricane an earthquake we have no communication frontier says so much has been stolen they're running out of copper so they're working to get more from out of state and to repair lines and also looking at switching customers to fiber optic service but none of that is easy or fast so Furious locals are bracing for more months of landlines that don't work. We're the victims of domestic terrorism in a modern age that, that we are living without effective communications. We need better laws. We need stronger punishments. We need more efficiency all the way around and we need our phones fixed. Copper metal theft has been such an issue that earlier this year, the city of L.A. formed a heavy metal task force. It has had some success, but the thefts continue. Just this past weekend, the school district here in Hacienda Heights confirms someone stole the copper wiring at Wilson High School, shutting down the electrical, the phones, and the computer systems there. In Hacienda Heights, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News.